Then, so the closing plenary, um, it was, I think it was a really nice workshop. It was great uh, having so many people in a room and talk about open source modeling. The question is, when do we meet again and where? Um, first, the question is when. So before um, we had a two yearly kind of cycle, I'm not sure if uh, there's interest. So first, the question to the audience here is um, whether you'd rather try to come up to a once in the spring, once in the fall kind of meeting cycle or a yearly meeting cycle. So a quick show of hands, uh, who would like to aim for a twice a year meeting cycle? <laughs> okay. Who is paying attention? <laughs> okay, good. Well, I wasn't sure for a moment. Um, okay, so that seems, no, I think it was a very, very clear sign that we should, okay, who wants to meet again for another open mouth workshop? Like I have to do, okay. Just didn't want to assume that that means a one year cycle. Now I do. Okay, so we want to have another meeting next spring. That was, that's my reading of the room. Um, now, where do we do it? There are three suggestions, one by Sebastian from Chrisim, um, where somewhere between Tio Delft and Aachen, um, they, oh, Sebastian will investigate what is possible. Yeah, not yet promised, but investigating another by Sasha, I think, at, at Grenoble. Okay. But perhaps yes. Okay. So, would people like the credit? I mean, we can't accept the offer because no offer has been made yet, but uh, how do people feel about having a, a workshop next year by, hosted by Cressim? Show of hands if you, if you like the idea. Um, the other alternative would be Trondheim, uh, where unfortunately nobody's here. Um, so what we could do is uh, Sebastian investigates, and then we can do a formal announcement. Like maybe people who are not here, like Pedro from NGNU would then still like to make an offer so we could wait for Sebastian to uh, to offer. Um, and then we can do that via the forum like we did half a year ago. Sebastian, maybe Sasha then still wants to make a run for it and uh, outcompete him then, or Pedro can throw their hat in the ring. And we do a poll via the forum about the preferences. But it's thank you very much that there is a uh, tentative offer on the table and a tentative backup. Um, I think it's great to keep the momentum that we have established now and move forward. Just for a quick recap, in case some people are still considering um, what is required to host an open earth workshop. First, a room, like roughly that size for maybe up to 100 people, um, coffee and tea and water and juice, uh, Wi-Fi. You don't really need much more than that, other than a person that takes the initiative, an institution that supports it, and then uh, like Gretchen and Sylvia, who is right now running away, um, uh, to provide support during the meeting. It's really not that much effort. Um, we have the forum, which is maintained by Robbie. Uh, did you just, oh, here it is. Yeah, thanks to Robbie for making the, the forum uh, work. Uh, which is a nice tool to just support the communication. And then just one more argument that I had in a discussion with Ludwig earlier. Uh, a couple of you may be thinking, oh, but we don't do open source modeling at our institution yet, so we shouldn't host it. That's not a good argument. Because uh, you can say we want to start doing open source or move in that direction, and we show that by hosting an open, show, uh, open mod workshop. So maybe even if we're, now we have uh, some contenders to host it, maybe start thinking in your institution, would you be willing to host it in two years from now, three years from now, now um, to make sure that we keep this momentum going, not just one more time, but 
have it established as a continuous thing. Any comments, questions, reactions? Yeah. I have five points, a very heavy question. Yeah, I have no idea why that was for, but. Uh, <laughs> And close the session, as said. No, 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 no. I still have things on my to do list. Um, uh, Noah, you wanted to make a quick proposal. I, I found the um, introduction to PyM the other day really um, useful. I wanted to propose doing something like that online. Like once a month or every two months, have an online session for an hour, an hour and a half, where somebody introduces their model, shows off what it can do, um, really on a nitty gritty programmer level detail. Um, we would be willing to organize the thing. The question is, is anybody interested in a listening to such a thing? Raise your hands. Nice. Is anybody interested in a, uh, introducing their th uh, stuff? Raise your hands again if you're interested in showing off something. Okay. Um, then I guess that's strong enough interest to make a post on the forum and set up a first webinar in about a month's time. Who's for one month time, two months time, two months? Okay. Then mid May or something. I'll just propose a date, set up a Zoom webinar and uh, ask for volunteers. Or is there anybody who would like to volunteer for the very first session? So that's already so sorted out. Come talk to me directly afterwards if you want to, uh, to be the very first volunteer. <laughs> yeah, so now to get some, some feedback, some final interactive session, we prepared a Menti. Uh, Questionnaire. So if you go to menti.com and type the numbers that are written here at the top, uh, two questions. First is one thing, one cool thing that you learned over the last uh, two days. And then the second question will be uh, feedback. What could be done better? What would you like to have had more of? Um, the two, two questions that which we can then pass on to Sebastian so that he can build on the experience here or Sasha or Pedro or. Seems like it's converging. So ontology, sufficiency, Linopi, critical thinking, uh, OEP, Volta, no silver coins. Um, uh, next slide, please. Right, ideas for the next workshops. What would you like to have had more of? Uh, what could be improved?
There is a dinner kebab place. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there is also a uh, falafel place next <laughs> yeah there's also ice cream for the person who wrote definitely no meat okay um okay it, it seems like the the no meat people are in the majority um We'll also collect all of that. I'll put that in the forum so that then it can be used for future reference for ideas. Um, so any additional comments? Anybody wants to say something else related to that or some other comments, requests before I close the session? No, definitely. Yeah, thanks. Um, okay, any other? Then, um, as a final order of business, uh, it's my time to say thank you to Gretchen and Silvio. So could you please uh, come here? Uh, so Wizard of Oz reference, they were not hiding behind the curtain, but there were presents behind the curtain. So um, as a little thank you for making this work so smoothly. I mean, it's, it was just a very relaxed experience for, for me. I think for everybody here that I talked to, and that's thanks to you. So uh, a little. It's, it's one useful plan and one pretty plan, and you can think <laughs> uh, you can decide between yourself who wants which. And there's also one for Pat because Pat made the whole. I mean, yeah, the institute said, okay, let's do this, but then she made uh, all the preparations and also dug into the budget and made it possible that we could just make that very easy by not having to ask for a registration fee and by just providing dinner yesterday. Uh, because Pat just made that somehow happen. So there's also something for her. Um, thanks to you. Thanks to everyone for coming here. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you did too. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing all of you again in a year from now. Food is outside. The Dino Kebab place is the other side <laughs> of the road. Uh, and if you want to continue working, the rooms will be open. So if you now want to take that positive energy into directly uh, doing some more hackathoning, then you can stay here until Monday, 9 a.m. <laughs>